there's been an increase in the uh, prevalence of certain head and neck cancers, especially uh, cancers of the oral pharynx, which include the tonsil and base of tongue. Uh, this is something that's been occurring nationally, but something we've also seen here in Sangamon County. Transoral robotic surgery, which is often abbreviated as TORS, uh, refers to surgery that's performed on the pharynx or larynx uh, through the mouth uh, using the surgical robotic system. Uh, surgical robot um, is a system that utilizes a uh, three-dimensional endoscope, which allows for excellent, excellent visualization of hard-to-reach places like the pharynx or larynx. I've been um, uh, performing transoral robotic surgery for uh, patients with pharyngeal and laryngeal cancers. I've also conducted research which has looked at outcomes of these patients. In these studies we've looked at patients who uh, received non-surgical therapies and compared them to similar patients who received TORS and found that there was improvements in uh, swallowing function. We also found that survival was comparable, if not even slightly better, in the group that underwent TORS. Uh, cancers of the pharynx and larynx were generally either treated with non-surgical therapies, including radiation or chemotherapy, or alternatively, uh, much more morbid open surgeries. The advent of TORS, or transoral robotic surgery, allows for excellent exposure uh, with a minimal disruption of normal structures. The advantage is uh, improvements in swallowing function and uh, less morbidity uh, while still offering uh, options for uh, surgical cure. Uh, when I learned about the um, Medical Innovators Program, I thought that my uh, work with transoral robotic surgery would fit the requirements of the Sangamon County Medical Society. For that reason, I um, decided to inform the Medical Society about the work that I had been doing, and I was very fortunate to learn that I had been selected as one of the Medical Innovators. I was very honored to receive this award. When I heard the other medical innovators, I was even more humbled because they too are doing excellent work in their respective fields. In some ways, it's a validation to know that, that the Sangamon County uh, Medical Society finds this work uh, worthwhile and important, and it's definitely something I'll continue to uh, work in the future. Uh, there are advances that are currently underway in robotic technology, and this will continue to increase the opportunities for robotic surgery in head and neck cancers.